Hello. Stand it. Still not very confident, but yes, uh, with your support, and I am sure during uh, uh, during the meeting which we have the contact session. we might be given some hands on training all of us together so that we can raise the doubts and a dedicated slot is available if i am not sure what is the schedule but uh, yes uh, like uh, sharing a quiz or sharing a, uh, a mcq bank and uh, others to edit the questions i think these things can be done easily using the software sir. Uh, how about you, in your working environment in your college you have good connectivity there sandeep yes sir in the college we all have uh, yes sir we have we we have good connectivity in the college because it is through uh, 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 landline connections okay but these connections are not available in the residence place of residence okay okay now so yes sir ha continue kar uh so you were saying sir yeah what i am trying to tell you is that if you see the future of any education higher education lower education medical education we cannot escape this distance learning or one or the other format of any software it may not be moodle but most of them are uh, almost similar like uh, the thing is it is the future of the education so in next 5 to 10 years you must find it in yourself to you use this uh, it may not be there right now but in coming years it is especially good for the students it is especially good for the teacher it is good for the administrator also to know what is happening with the students it is good for the parents also there is something called as parental access where they can see how the kid is performing how is their attendance it is not only that at many places when you go for a job abroad they want to know the transcripts from your model environment like in us in uh, many uh, iits in india in australia new zealand most of the curricular things they are put on the model where student has to log student has to perform student has to do something and all this log things performance assessments etc are seen by the uh, employer to know what exactly he has done during his study so it's going to come in near future so it is not the thing uh, which will go waste uh, for all of you it may not be modeled your institute may choose another software but the crux or the different aspects are almost the same that's why i want you to find in yourself and use it frequently so to start with what i suggest is you can have your own free model account on the website which i give has anybody tried you can give topic of that instead of what i gave as free learn dot model cloud you can use your topic physiology biochemistry psychiatry or whatever it is or your institute name or your own name and you can create a site which is free for 50 users and you can use this site along with your co faculty members to create some meaningful thing like question banking or resources uh, related to the topic which you are taking that way you can start having a uh, small steps in building all this feature it will not go waste because moodle has a good portability which you can take it okay 
Momi Baru has joined and uh, you can see what the uh, is. Sir, I have... Yeah, okay, yes. Think, sir, I fully agree with your point that this is the way forward because a lot of stress is being given by the administration, the hospital and the college administration that we have to build e-learning resources for students. We have to make some PowerPoints or some uh, MCQs at the end of every uh, lecture for the UGs, which has to be put on the college website or any other website which they can access. So I think once I'm familiar with Moodle and free learn, in for pediatrics because I am the UG uh, in charge for the subject pediatrics in my college. I think this is a very good step forward because it will match with the expectation of the college also. Yeah. We have mommy. Unfortunately, her video is not working, but we can. She can be audible. Yes, or she can. Type also if she thought of. We are waiting, but I don't think you can start uh, typing. Okay. Just a minute. Let me ask what is the problem. Okay, so what I will start now is uh, I will share my screen. Okay, uh, and uh, I will show you the different aspects of the Momi has joined. We can see her. Yes, yes, Momi. You can, we can see you. Am I audible to you? Yes, sir. Yes. So, so far, yes, how is your experience? What have you done regarding Moodle? Hello. We Hello. are waiting for your answer. You can type if you have poor connectivity or you can say. Okay. Yes, mommy. I think we will come back to you. Uh, is there any problem regarding audio with you, Momi? Okay, we will start with sharing the screen. Let me tell you how to share the screen. Okay. Now here, you can see I have logged in as an administrator. Now, what I told you, there are two aspects of administration apart from installation and another thing. One is called as course administration. Okay, so we will choose one course and let us see how you have participated in that course. So you can hear is I have chosen the course introduction to Moodle and let me see the participants. How the participants have done. Okay. From here, you can see the screen, name, email address of all the participants which you have used. Okay. Can you see? Now, let me choose one participant and see what he or she has done in this course. Okay. So, let me see with this. Now you can see here the detailed logs of the participant Momi Barwa. I go to all the logs. Now can you see here in graphic mode as well as descriptive mode 
things which have been done by the participant. So you can monitor activity of your student by going to course administration, click on that and see how they have done. Whether they have completed the assignments, how many times they have logged, etc. Coming to the grades, different quiz attempts we have done, we can see here all the participants with the grades. Okay. So this is regarding the course administration. If you see here, at the end of the course, there is called as question bank. And you see this question bank, where you can add the questions to the question bank. You can allot different categories. You can import and export questions from outside courses. Now you can see here the detail about the question bank. Name of the question created by last modify and the different categories and the tags which you can allot to the question. These are the different types of questions. You can see multiple choice, matching, short answer, etc. Next, we go to the site administration. Coming to the site administration, notification is regarding what type of Moodle software, which version you are using. Registration means registering your website with the Moodle. So that added security features, bugs, etc. they will report. For us, the most important is this users, courses. We will see the user accounts and browse the list of users. Here you can see the last access, when they have last accessed the course. If I click here, it will show you in either ascending or descending order persons who have logged. Can you see here the last access? And down you can see here three participants, Dinesh, Femur, Sureka, Kishore, and SDPSU who have never logged with this ID. They might have logged with ID of student or any other ID. But you can see the log of all of you according to your last access to the Next, add a new user. It shows how to add a new user. How I, I added you, I gave you one username. I gave you a temporary password which you can change. Now the different fields which are there, you can modify these fields according to your name of the institution may be default. You can add roll number, semester number, year of admission, etc. If you want, you can want, you can add another aspects like whether the candidate is from different categories or physically disabled or under reservation or economic backward or whatever you want. So these different fields are, can be customized. 
coming to the bulk user action now this is important if you want to send all the users or selected user a message as a administrator here you see all the users i can select different users or i can select a cohort and send them a message now what i can do here is with selected users what i can do is i can send the message i can delete them i can download them i can ask them to change the password or add to the cohort now this concept of cohort is important i will show you this concept of cohort you have to create cohorts for your different batches of the student which will help you in easy maneuver like if you have see, see here i have created a cohort called 2017 km famer and this cohort size is 18 means there are 18 users i have created it manually and all of you are in this cohort so once your batch will go through and next batch will come i will remove this cohort from practice model and add another you can see here another cohort km famer 2016 for which i did the same they practiced it for few months and then i removed in bulk so rather than individually deleting and adding as a cohort you can take your whole batch from one course to the another as a site administrator then there are grades and completion you need not go into the details of this right now if you feel that it is too complicated okay so here i finished the first part of my today's making you aware of the course administration and site administration now i will minimize my sharing of the screen and we will come back to all of you yes if anybody wants to comment or say something you can do it yes any question uh sir just wanted to ask one yeah um so can i go ahead yes yes um so like um, Uh, like if we are creating the cohort, like if I'm adding one batch of my undergraduates, yes. supposing we are 2015 batch of 100 students mm. for a course. Mm. So is this this 2015 batch a cohort, or I can make cohorts inside this 2015 batch, like A, B, C, D? It is up to you, madam. Uh, you can have three cohorts, one cohort containing whole batch. If they are coming for a didactic lecture, all. 75 100 200 students coming for that lecture you can uh, have that cohort for the whole batch or you can have one batch with a one batch with b one batch with c there is no limitation on creating number of cohorts it can be a sub cohort yes anyone else want to ask yes sandeep you can try this course administration when you have the privilege of a teacher okay sir no questions right now sir okay so shall we end this meeting i don't think anybody else uh, is uh, joining so all the best and thank you sir uh, very all of you will be staying uh, in the guest house or in the hostel they have given you any idea yes sir yes uh, we have been uh, shared with the accommodation details most of us are in the main boys hostel okay around 8 or 9 of us are in main boys hostel okay. and one is ug pg hostel with in guest room okay so you are not one staying with the faculty Because faculty they keep at YMCA. 
no no not with the faculty sir okay we are in the main boys hostel and the ug pg hostel sir okay but ask them if they have connectivity there in the hostel so that you can uh, do some work after going back to your rooms or uh, something or uh, i don't know whether you have this geo or something which is working very good in mumbai if you have that kind of thing yes sir uh, yes like i am uh, ca carrying a vodafone and a bsnl connection sir uh -huh. i hope one of them will be working yeah actually coming to the course there they have a excellent uh, wifi facility there where actual training goes but i don't know right. about the hostel or the rooms and most of the time from early morning 8 to about 6 o'clock you will be stationed in that uh, training uh, room uh, there uh, mit room which is on the top floor right. you have a good connectivity there so there only so yes they they made uh, arrangement for uh, internet connection in the hostel also okay. uh, wifi internet connection okay. because they have shared the username and password yesterday okay another thing is i gave all of you one small homework if you remember we okay. had the feedback form so any progress on that today will i'll finish sir today <laughs> so you have we will actually we will meet physically on friday we have session on friday so okay, sir. from monday to friday you have time to create a small feedback form on this distance learning and moodle course and i want to see actually how you prepare it in any format you choose it may be a google form or it may be on the moodle or it may be a feedback. but i want you all of you to design it collaboratively and use okay. it in actual practice Okay. Yes. So bye yes, bye. Okay, See you on Friday. Thank right, you, sir. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.